People all over that stand with Palestine will be mobilizing this weekend to take a march on the DNC and let them know that they're not welcome. But I won't be voting for the Democratic or the Republican Party. Yeah. Little Palestine, we call it that because of the culture we have here. It's a strong testament for all the Palestinians we have growing up in Bridgeview and the culture that we have going around. We have the food from the shawarma to the pita bread to uh, the jewelry. Everything that you see back home, it comes right back to Little Palestine. And why we call it Little Palestine is because overseas there is Palestine and a lot of us aren't able to go back there because of what's going on in Gaza and the wars going on in the Middle East. So being able to come back over here gives us kind of like a good feeling about what we got over there, you know? So when we come over here, we get to experience the stuff that we can't experience back home. I can tell you that the community is enraged from President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. You know, we're here to tell them that they're not welcome here in Chicago and they're not welcome as our presidents either. We do not support them. The billions of dollars that they sent to kill innocent little children when they could have easily called for a ceasefire and had this war over with a long time ago. So we're here to tell them that they're not welcome here. They won't be having our votes this year. Uh, we'll be marching for in solidarity for our people of Palestine, amplifying their voices of whose voices are being silenced. Because every day, you know, it gets harder and harder. It's not easy. Seeing the videos that are coming out from Gaza, the children dying, the mothers, the fathers, fighting for their homes being blown up and you know it's like what can we do for them so this is the, like the least that we can do just going marching in the streets I was born in Palestine, but raised in the heart of the Arab Community Center um, here in Chicago. Um, and you know, the fact that they're coming to Chicago, which is home to the largest Palestinian um, community in the United States, uh, we're going to be sure that our voices are heard and that we're going to, again, affirm in the loudest terms possible our demands that the Democratic Party stop funding the state of Israel, stop funding these atrocities, and um, for a permanent ceasefire um, and an end to the genocide. I've, I've had a couple of students who were having trouble uh, reaching family in Gaza. I had one student who lost 35 members of her family and couldn't reach others, didn't know if they were alive or not. So, it's pretty awful. It's pretty awful. The conversations we're having with members of our community on the streets is like, they're not getting our vote. VP Harris is not, or at the time, you know, when it was Biden, but now VP Harris, they're not getting our vote. They can't bomb our homes steal our lands, slaughter our mothers and children, and then expect us to tick the box, right, at elections and vote for them. You are not gonna get our support anymore, right? And, um, and it doesn't mean that it's a vote for Trump. It doesn't mean, you know, people are saying, you know, you have to go with the lesser of the two evils. I don't believe in that, right? Neither party has shown us their commitment to the liberation of Palestine. Neither party has shown us that they are committed to a permanent ceasefire. Um, so, yeah, our, our people may not be voting either way.
Well, we could visit if we want to. We can't go to Gaza. I've been to Gaza before. I don't think we've heard enough from her to really know if she's... Has she done enough yet? No. Will, will she? We hope, you know. And I think these protests that happen call, you know, bring attention to her, to her and others to speak up as they say they will or say they are going to. And will one vote make a difference? You, you hope, but, you know, it's all about the larger scale. We, at the end of the day, we have to go out. We have to vote because we have to show that, you know, we're here. We're, you know, we're not just uh, a number. We have to show that our number does count.